everybody, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel, Fairy Cuties Hobbies. We are here today for hashtag What's Up Wednesday. This is an open collab that's hosted by Lucia over at Tiho Creates. This collab was designed kind of like a Tea Tuesday in a way, to where you could just come on here and share whatever you have going on. Um, are you cooking anything? Or are you creating any recipes? Are you doing stuff in a journal? Are you... Um, making cards, you know, whatever. So, um, Lucia isn't usually able to do it on Tuesdays because, um, she works Tuesdays. She was going into the office. Now she goes in the office on Monday, but that's beside the point. So we are here today. I have been holding off on going to Dollar Tree for quite a while, and I'm not really the type of person that likes to like you know, do haul video, but I found some stuff at the Dollar Tree that were on my list that I wanted to get. So we're going to share them today and it's going to be a long video. You might see my cord make an appearance, um, grab a drink. I don't know if you need a snack, but at least grab a drink. So we're going to do it in kind of sections and I'm going to kind of grab and hopefully I won't drop all this stuff on the floor. Okay, we have a calendar on the, a dry erase calendar on the refrigerator. The red has died. Um, I, we did buy a cheapo pack of dry erase at Walmart and um, I didn't like it. So when I saw this at the Dollar Tree today, I picked it up. This is a hole punch. I had needed a hole punch for something. I don't remember what it was. Probably one of the um, projects for something. I'm not sure. And they, when you first walk into the Dollar Tree that I go to, they have um, usually on that back wall, you, you go in and you either turn to the left or you turn to the right. And that, that back wall right there is filled with whatever the seasonal thing it is. And right now it's all school supplies. So... My husband said, didn't you need a hole punch? Sure, why not? So if I figure out what I needed it for, I got it. I have, um, oh, this is washable school glue. Disappearing purple. Um, I use the, let's see if I can reach it. Hold on. Ah, I reached it. Craft Bun Extra Strength Glue Stick. And it works pretty well. So I guess we'll see how the Disappearing Purple School Glue works. Washable. I didn't even read that, but that's okay. Um, I bought a pack of coloring pencils. I do have a whole thing of colored pencils, but um, I don't necessarily always like to have the whole stack up here with me. And um, I have this set of Colors of Kindness that I've been using for... Um, Rosemary's You Rock Art for her Color and Create You Rock Art collab with the um, big coloring book. This one has the purple cover with the mushroom. And I've been able to color um, exclusively with just these. Uh, I mentioned this in another video too. Um, so there's a Cool Mint, a Cray Yellow, Powder Blue, Oatmeal, Marvelous. I'm sorry, it's like you have to say it like that. Salmon, peach, Granny Smith apple, turquoise blue, cadet blue, wisteria, and orchid. But some things need just regular colors. So I grabbed these. I also grabbed these um, paper clips. There's a project that I'm thinking about working on. And um, in order to see if it works, I need paper clips to paper clip them together. And I could get the plain silver ones, but. Why? When you can have colorful purple, blue, and pink ones. And I like this dark color blue. I like the darker purple, but I like this dark color, color blue. I like this dark color pink. So I like all three of those colors. So why not? Let me put those back over there. I found this diamond painting keychain. I did one that has a coffee cup. This one has a cupcake. And then I found these white string tags. Um, 
Penny over at Penny's Crafty Creations um, uses tags in her journals. And this was 60 of them. I couldn't make 60 tags for $1.25. So I picked up that. I do not have the um, resin kits, but I do like the mica powder. And they had the they had two colors, and I believe that once this stuff uh, shows up at the store, it's gone. So there's a mint, a turquoise, a lavender, and a silver. And then there's a gold, a copper, an orange, and it looks like a kind of like a rose goldy color. These are gorgeous, and um, I have an idea. I don't know if it'll work, but um, Missy over. At Mystical Misty one. She had just picked up two spritzers from Tim Holtz that has mica powder in them. And it got me inspired to see if I can make them work um, in, in f for something that I'm going to be working on. It does tell you to mix it in. It just says, pour amount of prepared resin mix you want to colorize. Into a mixing bowl, add pigment powder until desired color or opacity is achieved. Mix thoroughly for even distribution of pigment throughout the resin mixture. Um, I was thinking maybe if it would work, mixing it with water. I don't know if it'll work, but I could try it. And um, I could see if it mixes with Mod Podge since Mod Podge dries clear. Maybe it would make the Mod Podge, you know, shimmer with the mica powder. So it's worth trying. Why not? Alrighty. I found this uh, index card thing. It'd be kind of fun. I've seen some um, collages being made with this small of, um, and they're perforated, but I don't think that matters, with this small of a space. So I thought it'd be kind of fun. Maybe I could do some collaging and stuff. Um, we receive People magazines at work, and one of the girls at work who does the mail has been bringing over the People magazines. So it'd be kind of fun to cut out and collage with these with some of the, because I have quite a stack of, I guess People comes out like every two weeks or something. And then this slips in like this. Um, I had seen somebody use, uh, I can't remember her name offhand, but she's one, one of the YouTubers that does a lot of cricket. And she had used her Cricut and put a little insert in here using her Cricut. I use the flashcards for Deck the Year. And um, I do have enough flashcards to finish out Deck the Year for this year. But I thought it would be kind of fun to get these um, letter ones. Apparently you can get colors, letters, shapes, numbers, and first words. But I, And I saw the shapes and I almost grabbed, and I grabbed the shapes. And when I saw the... The letters behind it, the little alligator just got me. So I picked up these. I didn't open it, so I don't know what they all look like. And um, this is already going to be a really long video, so we won't be opening them. And then I saw this one, English to Spanish, and that'd be kind of fun. Children will love learning sight words with these Spanish to English flashcards. Each color for card features a word in both English and Spanish, which allows fast, at-a-glance translation, fun, and easy to use. Um, I did not take Spanish in school. When I was in school, foreign language was an elective, and it was an elective I chose not to elect. Um, I did a lot of other things. Art. Um, big surprise there. Um, home, home ec was kind of, it was kind of like a home ec, uh, and other things like that, but none of them was English, uh, was foreign language. I was never interested in learning a foreign language. I found the receipt book. That'd be kind of fun to put in, um, you know, kind of like you do with the guest checks, which I found, well, which I got off of Timu. Um, but I saw these. I thought that'd be kind of fun. And on that same um, deal, I found the sale orders. So that'd be kind of fun, too. You know, and then you got the yellow too. So that'd be kind of fun. Flip through that pretty fast. I also found these shipping labels. I believe these are full size shipping labels. And um, I have um, 
one of my coworkers gave me uh, a Cricut Joy. So maybe I can make stickers using the shipping labels with the Cricut Joy. Um, I also have a um, Epson printer. So maybe I can have the image printed out here on the Epson printer and then uh, put it in the printer to print out. That'd be fun. And then I found these. I found this pack of tissue paper is gorgeous for one. And I found it, it was lying on the floor, on the, on, on, on the floor, on the ground, whatever you want to say. And I just love the colors and then the pops of gold is beautiful. And, um, it'd be perfect on some cards, I think. Metallic foil tissue. And then I found this one. Um, uh, there were a couple of summer ones, but I thought this would be a fun summer one with the lemons. And, um... Yeah, I think they're all lemons, just different colors lemons, because these are way too big to be a lemon. And um, I just thought those would be pretty for like a summer project, like if there's a collab out there using something summer. Oh, you know what? These would be good as backgrounds for my deck the year. Posted by Penny. So if you're interested in joining deck the year, hop on over to her channel and you can learn all about it. Alrighty. Last little stack here. I found this tray. I'm sorry if that got loud because I'm, this stuff is right next to the mic. An activity tray. Um, a lot of the, um, a lot of them are using them for beads, and um, I don't do beading. I used to. I used to make bracelets, but I don't do it so much anymore. And um, but I, I've also seen die cuts. So I have a lot of small die cuts that I got. Um, like a couple of random packs of die cuts from Timu. And this is a good place to keep them, to keep them from falling off the, the desk. And I like the darker pink, so that was the color I got. And of course, paper. So we'll do the paper for, we'll do this paper first. I don't know if these are all the same color. So we're gonna open them. And it's loud, I'm sorry. And there are eight sheets. Oh no. So there's the silver, gold, gold, actually holographic gold, gold, silver. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Red and green. All right. I think I have one of these packs already, but you know what? You don't get very much. You get a six by six, maybe. And, um... Yeah, it looks like it could be six by six. Well, the, yeah, because these ones are six by six. Does it say on here six by six? Of course it does not. But they're the same size as these right here. And um, if you do a standard A2 card, four and a half by five and a quarter. Four and a quarter by five and a half. Sorry, I had that wrong. Um, then you've already used most of your paper. So if you see these, just because it has this holographic on the top, you're going to have other colors underneath. I don't remember if I got this pack or not. I have gotten um, two packs of paper at a different Dollar Tree, and I know the one pack I saw there I did get. Um, so we'll have to look at these and find out. These are all the, I did get these, but you know what? I think I was m upset that I didn't get more than one. Let's bring them up here so you can see them a little bit better. So now I have Two packs. Oh, I love this one so much. These are just gorgeous and they're thick. This is the alcohol ink stuff to what you don't have to do it. It's already done for you. But oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. So if you see this pack of paper at your Dollar Tree, grab it because now you know how gorgeous it is. It's it is really gorgeous and they're thick. I'm like, I'm not kidding. They're like thick. Lovely. That's been my word lately. Lovely. What's up with that? I don't know. I like them. I think they're beautiful. Oops, I hit the camera. Sorry. It's on us on a stand it has the ring light 
on it and um, the phone slips into the arm thing that's on it and it's not very high up from the table so sometimes I do snap the camera um, I don't have the ring light on I have a little white light right here it's hard to see without tipping everything over it's just a little white desktop lamp you know the little Pixar lamp it looks like that it totally reminds me of that and I have a little rubber band on there because there was like a, a roll of rubber band that's in it and a, a bigger one was like a like a band almost like a bracelet and it says keep it together so I have that on there but um this stand it's USB and my other one is just plugged in so that's why I have um this lamp here and I think I get better lighting too all right so I grabbed two of these packs the reason why I grabbed them look at that that's and this right here that's why I grabbed this pack and I grabbed this pack because of this green and then this right here so let's do the green one first I just say the green but let's just look at this one um, I had seen these several times that I had gone to the Dollar Tree and I never, I never, I just like, you know, they have these packs over at Walmart too. And I just never thought, you know, to give it a second glance. And then I watched one of Penny over at Penny Crafter Creations videos where she had, um, purchased one of these packs and then, um, she, uh, opened it up and I was like, oh at all the fun stuff in there so then I started buying them and now I have this is just a regular black one so now I have quite a few are these this oh that's kind of cool so there's four of these they do have glitter in them and I don't know if it's because it came from the other but look at the back side so that's kind of fun this is similar to what's in the back one, two, three, four, five. You get six of these. Some of them have glitter in them, but I don't think this one does. Well, there's a couple, but I think it's, again, because it's in the little specks of purple glitter. So that could be the this glitter that came on the top. Let's just do it this way. upside down how they came out there we go so purple squares these look like three by three or four by four but hold on hold up my ruler doesn't want to come out it is a metal ruler so sorry for the glare Oh, well, you can see it. Oh, it's just shy over three and a half. Yeah, so three and a half by three and a half, just shy. We'll leave that there just in case. You get a few. I like using these um, pieces on my deck the year cards because it just adds contrast and texture. And I was never really much of a contrast and texture type of person on my cards until now. These are really super thick. I used one of these on one of my deck years. This one, it feels like fabric. So that's kind of fun. Yeah, these are like those other smaller pieces, but they're bigger. Oh, that's weird. Because it's like st stuck to each other. So it transferred some of that mustard color. Hope it's not nothing gross to me, this paper. It's kind of different. Got quite a few of these. Oh, look, there's more of that. 
Oh, I got different colors. Okay, hold on. Getting ahead of myself. They're kind of, they're mixed in a little bit. All right, so we have this peachy color. I'm not counting. I'm just separating them. So I don't know how many there are. So there's quite a few of those. And then this, this is a beautiful color. I don't know if you can see. It's, it's kind of hard when you have the light on it for the camera. So, but if you get these, just hold it up to the light. You can see the cool textures inside the paper. So there's a few of these. Wow, quite a few. It's not quite red. It's not quite pink. It's beautiful though. And again, it has a different kind of texture like this other one does here. And you can tell the difference between the two colors. And look like we got some more of this. I've got two different colors here, so this looks like the one from before. Oh, there's two pieces. Stuck to, oh. So the other one was a gray. This one was like a, a mauve color. Look how fun these are. You can just choose whichever side you want to use. The Necronomicon. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. But, you know, the Necronomicon was not purple. From Army of Darkness. Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, and Army of Darkness. Army of Darkness is the third one. I'm not sure... There's probably not too many horror fans out there, which I am not necessarily, but I am a fan of San Raimi and I am a fan of um, Bruce Campbell. So I do like Army of Darkness better than Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2, but it's just because I really like Bruce Campbell. He cracks me up. And he was pretty good in that uh, in Bird Notice. Kind of bummed that show got canceled, but it probably ran its course anyway. Kind of like Sons of Anarchy when it did when it ended the seventh season. It pretty much ran its course. So this is really pretty. You had quite a few. Alrighty, so there's that pack. I will either put it back in the plastic or put it in the bin, but I will spare you the noise, except for to lay that down. And then we got the other one. I'm excited to see what's in the back, but we're not we're not gonna look at the back first. I'll do it that way. And this one's got a lot of glitter. Like a lot of glitter. So how far down? Okay, we could go about right here without being so still in frame. So um, extremely glittery. There was a time my mom used to make um, dresses and there was um, a play where my mom had to make these dresses that were kind of like the Supremes dresses. This reminds me of those dresses that she made. I don't know if they had glitter fallout like this does. And look at this. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. That is so beautiful. And look, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but see the two different colors? Like this is faded around the edges, and I don't know if it's because this was sitting right on top of it and it being in the package. It's possible, but it's beautiful. Both of them are beautiful. Oh, look at the back. Wow, look at all that glitter on the back. There's another piece of that orange. Another piece of that one. 
And look at this. This is one of the ones that I saw. Oh, wow, these are thick. Okay, hold on. We got more than Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. It's like printed cardboard. So this side, it has texture. And this side does not. So this, you can see the glare. So they're like packaging of some sort. And there's no glare on this one because it's not. So it's like some sort of box. Cut from a box or something. Either way, it's pretty. That would, that's almost the perfect size for one of my Deck of the Year cards, too. Stay tuned. You might see it in it. Here's a square. Let's see how big this square is. Same as the other one, three and a half. And look, I don't know if that was intended because this one doesn't have it. Oh, look at that. I like this side better. Oh, I like this paper. I've used this paper, paper before and this one you could see through it uh, better than some of the other ones. This is what uh, Penny sometimes calls um, echo, eco dye paper. There are two. Can I get, oh, there are two. Yep. I was able to get a thumbnail under that. So I don't know if you can see. See? When I tip it just right, you can see right through the paper. Isn't that beautiful? So I like that paper. We have some of that already. I think I used that on one of my cards too. And then we have this thicker blue, like a textured cardboard. Beautiful. Those would make nice twinchies because they already got substantial. These we've had before. Oh, but not this pattern. Wow. Look at that. Talk about mica. Goodness. That's gorgeous. That is so pretty. This side is pretty too, but I like this side better. And then here's some, wow, there's a lot. Oh, it's the same size. Didn't look the same size, probably because it was turned the other way. Look how beautiful that is. I don't know if you're getting the full... Oh, there you go. Look at that. That is so awesome. No. I thought there was two pages, pages stuck together. That is just gorgeous. So there's that. Here's some more of that that we didn't know was I think some of it might be turned. But I saw some in it. Yep, this one. See how it's shiny? Cute like that. And this is the rest of the paper. Oh. Look at how gorgeous that is. Can you see this? I know it's why I tip it this way, you can see it better. Look at that. That is just beautiful. Um, Lucia, let me know if you want a couple sheets. I'll bring them for you. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Do we have two pieces stuck together? Because this one seems a lot thicker than this one. Let's see if they're stuck together. Sometimes I'm in my nails a little bit. Plus, I don't know. They feel like they are, but I can't pull it apart. Let's 
gorgeous. All right, that concludes it. Let me get this shiny ruler out of the way. So I have it slid, slid up here alongside my uh, laptop, which seems to be collecting everything today. Alrighty, that was all of it. Ended on a beautiful note with this paper. This paper especially is gorgeous. I really like that. What am I going to use it for just yet? I have no idea. But this is the only one that's not, well, it even has, it has a bit of gold in it, but it's not as vibrant. But oh, Lovely, lovely. Alrighty, Lucia, thank you very much for having this collab where we can come on here and share what we're up to for the day. I'm sorry this video is a bit long, but I think it was worth it because there was a lot of things to share and um, for you guys to go look out for the next time you guys go to your Dollar Tree. Um, whenever I watch Dollar Tree hauls or even crafters saying, hey, you know, we got, I went to Dollar Tree and this is what I found. Um, I had a list going and um, I had a budget. I stayed within budget and I got almost everything. Coin envelopes. A lot of people are uh, hauling the coin envelopes. I didn't find any at all. I just found the regular sized envelopes. Um, a little bit bigger than, um, you know, like a uh, half sheet of paper when you fold it in half. And one a little bit smaller than that. And then, of course, the eight and a half by ten inch one that'll, you know, one that'll fit that size piece of paper. But I'm not finding the, the coin envelopes at all. So I don't know if that's just my Dollar Tree because uh, everybody else is finding them. But I did find a few other things that some other people hadn't found. Um, so you never know what you're going to find. Um, so far, everything that I purchased today was a dollar twenty-five. I wanted to let you know that because our Dollar Tree did turn into a Dollar Tree Plus. There were $3 items, $5 items, $7 items, but there was nothing... Um, that I wanted. They have some Crayola, um, $3, $5, $7, depending on how many the count is in the pack. Um, I did see regular 24 pack of crayons, the regular, um, color line of crayons in the school well, office supply area, as well as the school supplies, the new aisle of school supplies. They were still a dollar twenty-five, um, so I think it just depends on what you're looking for. So um, a lot of the craft supplies that I did purchase were everything that I purchased today was a dollar twenty-five. So you just have to find out: Do you really want to spend three dollars for that, or can you get it somewhere else for less than three dollars, or less than five dollars, or less than seven dollars? It just depends on. Uh, what you're looking for and what you need it for. I believe that is everything that I have um, for you guys today. Um, if you guys are interested in partaking in um, What's Up Wednesday collab, all you have to do is um, tag Lucia at T Hole Creates in your video. Uh, add the hashtag What's Up Wednesday. Uh, Lucia will come watch your video. If you are not able to upload it on a Wednesday, like let's say um, today is Sunday and I'm filming it on Sunday and it will be, it is pre-filmed for Wednesday because um, I work on Wednesday, well I work Monday through Friday, um, an eight hour a day, 40 hour week job. So a lot of times when I get home, I may have the time to upload a video, but I might be too tired to do so. Um, you know, cause it, it's hot. I'm more tired now because it's hot. Um, and the whole country is hot. So even Penny over at, not Penny, excuse me. Well, yeah, Penny too. Penny was saying it was hot where she's at and she's in New Hampshire. Um, Patty with life with Patty up in the North, Northern California, where it doesn't get that hot. She was as hot as we were in Phoenix. So, you know, it's hot everywhere and we just get exhausted when, when it's hot. So, um, 
I don't typically really do anything when I get home. And then on the weekends, I craft and film and I don't go out. We do our shopping first thing in the morning, get it done and out of the way, and then we come back home. And then I just do my craft and film and all that stuff on the weekend because it's just easier for me that way. And uh, a lot of the channels out there, they don't really care what day you film. Um, what in, Even if you can't uh, pre-film and post and just do it on the end of the day, just as long as you, you tag them in your video so that they can come watch it and um, use the hashtag so that everybody that's interested in that collab can go watch your video too. Um, you know, pretty open community, pretty no, no set rules or anything to, to a certain extent. And, um, yeah, just, you know, have fun and share what you got and maybe somebody will be interested. And, you know, if this one pops up in the back of a paper pack, pick it up cause it's gorgeous and you don't know what else you might find inside that pack. Don't be sleeping on the, on the, these packs of papers cause they are, they are gorgeous. And I'm pretty sure you can find lots of. Uh, uses for them. In fact, you know, there's another one. Um, Bex at Black, Black Whisper Crafts. I bet you she could use this paper in a lot of her um, projects because she does a lot of gold, black, and red. So this paper would look gorgeous and some of the stuff that she does is, is like, you know, a little tag in front of it or, you know, a little butterfly up here or something. Oh, gorgeous. Alrighty, I am um, dragging this out a little bit too long. I tend to do that, and I am sorry. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, Lucia. And you guys have a great week. Take care. Bye.